David Serzwinski couldn't even read the first time his family brought him to the state fair, but he was already doing his research. Only a toddler at the time, Serzwinski asked a ton of questions. Um, I was fascinated with rides and how they work. The Rochester Institute of Technology student is wrapping up his fourth year in the mechanical engineering program. For his latest project, he's dabbling in the amusement park business, creating roller coasters and Ferris wheels with a group of more than a dozen students. Working hours and hours and hours, um, multiple nights a week from 7 o'clock at night to 11 o'clock at night, testing and testing and testing. And talk about another blast from Sorzenski's childhood past. The brightly colored rides are made entirely out of Kinex, a construction toy. The team is preparing for the annual Imagine RIT Festival, a one-day-only mega showcase of all the innovation and creativity that happens at RIT. Last year it was about 20 rides. This year it's going to be 34 with five roller coasters. Organizers are expecting more than 35,000 people of all ages to attend and experience a mix of interactive presentations, hands-on demonstrations, and exhibits. Barry Colhane is the event chair. We want people in our community and beyond to see the diversity of programs and opportunities and how RIT can respond quickly to the needs in, in business and in industry. The engineering students in particular have spent a great deal of time creating technology to help people, from aging seniors to people who are deaf, blind, or individuals with other physical challenges. <laughs> On the other side of campus, inside the Golisano Institute for Sustainability, what looks like a giant video game is also being tweaked for its turn in the spotlight. The simulator has three components to it, and so there's the plasma screens in the back, there's this um, two processors here that generate the, um, the virtual environment that you're driving through, and another one to do all the computational intensive tasks, and then there's this rumble chair here to simulate the feel of a truck. The truck simulator is meant to teach people about their eco-driving behaviors, like the amount of emissions they generate as they operate the vehicle, and how to practice better fuel efficiency as they drive their routes. The type of driving behavior you exhibit should reflect what you do in the real world, right? And so rather than have all these trucks in the field retrofitted with the data collection tools, we can test out some of the ideas here in the simulator before we invest further money in um, trying this out in the field. But we just upload that to our Arduino board, or our board there. Takes a couple seconds. Just days away from the event, and, and it's down to the wire, the or the sensor. The theme park team is still putting the finishing touches on their biggest attraction, a 22-foot-long roller coaster that can launch from two different points. <laughs> yeah, so this is a good example of when uh, things don't go as planned be ready to go a bit crazy about it, but it all works out in the end. <laughs> Every time something goes wrong, they have to tweak the um, coaster just a tad and relaunch it again. It's like you just and eventually, the success. For these students, watching their hard work pay off is the icing on the cake. They get a win-win because they get to practice their presentation skills to all different levels of people, from children to grandparents. Uh, but this is something they love. It's, it's part of who they are. For the Innovation Trail, I'm Sasha Ann Simons. Yeah.